Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So let's begin with the uh, stochastic process. Stochastic process. So you must be thinking how to define a stochastic process. It's not a big deal if you guys are already familiar with a little bit uh, ABC of uh, uh, you know mathematics like if you if you know about uh, you know probability and uh, some some of the uh, you know basic stuff from mathematics and undergrad then you can easily you know get to what what do we mean by a stochastic process so uh, if we define it uh, you know formally so let omega and f p be a probability space so we have a probability space we have omega and then we have filtration f and probability p so we have this you know triplet uh, which we call as probability space so if we have probability space then a stochastic process a stochastic process a stochastic process is nothing but a measurable measurable function so a stochastic process is a measurable function uh, that I will represent a uh, represent by x, uh, which is you know depending on t and omega. So it's basically a two-valued function. So it's a multi-valued function. So uh, if we have a probability space, and then we can define a stochastic process. So the stochastic process is a uh, measurable function uh, denoted by x. Uh, of t comma omega defined on defined on product space this zero till infinity cartesian product omega r I can so it's a measurable function which is defined on this product space uh, which is you know product of two spaces roughly speaking so one is you know zero through infinity interval and times this omega which is the probability space uh, in particular in particular so so basically stochastic process is nothing but a measurable function depending on time and omega and in particular we have uh, for each t for each time t for each t what we have x of t comma this you know is a random variable is a random variable so if you fix t time then it will only depend on omega so so in that case it will behave like a random variable so uh, like the ohm it will be de depending on omega you will give input as an omega and it will give you a random output you know so it's a random variable and b for each omega for each omega now that means k if if you are fixing a one particular omega this function is measurable measurable function 
and we call it as a sample path sample path okay so let's let's see it you know a little bit you know what is happening so graphically if we talk about this stochastic process which is depending on time and this omega so what is happening basically so let me keep this you know time on x-axis and uh, you know then then what is happening you know so so for a given t as we know that let's say if 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 for example t is equal to 1 so if t is 1 then at 1 this particular function can take any value on this or is a vertical line because it's depending on omega so now it's a random variable and it can take value here 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 or maybe here or here or here on this you know vertical line somewhere on this vertical line on the same lines if we talk about this let's say another time you know value let's say t equal to 2 then for t equal to 2 this is again a function of omega so for given omega it can take any value here on this line you know and similarly for uh, let's say t equal to 3 again it can take any value here so so that's like if you are fixing t then for the given t uh, it will only depend on omega and as you change omega and for, uh, as you give input any omega you can take any value uh, depending on omega and similarly if you know if you are fixing omega let's say if we fix this omega and let's say this omega is fixed let's say this omega not this is fixed then it will be depending on time it will be varying with respect to t so let's say this is one this is two let's say this is three this is four this is five so on so forth these are t values okay so because omega naught is fixed so for this omega naught this random variable will take some value let's say it takes value here and when so this is basically x1 of omega naught and for the next t let's say t equal to 2 again it will take some value let's say it's taking value somewhere here maybe it can take anywhere value so this is my x2 of omega naught similarly for uh, t equal to 3 it can take any value let's say it's taking value here and on 4 it's taking value here and then here or maybe here so like it's it's randomly like this way you know it's randomly behaving you know so this is you know kind you know a little bit manifestation of uh, stochastic